We're gonna go over paint an eye now. And we're gonna start with just some blue here. I'm using Da Vinci colors here. In the beginning of the video, I have the uh, names of the colors I'm using. So, first coat is gonna be very light that I put on. First coat, just a, a light coat. Now we're going to get a little bit stronger and go with a medium tone. Some more paint, less water. The coat so far, you want to leave this area light on the bottom. Okay. Next, we're going to jump into the pupil. Um, you do want to let that dry first, normally. And it's coming across here. I'm blending in with this now. And blending in with here. I'm going to leave a highlight here, a white highlight right there. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to hit an in-between color here. I have a light color, dark color. Now we're going to go with a medium color in between there. Light, medium, darks. So what's going on is the eye lashes are going to be casting a shadow onto the eye. So that's why we will not always see the, the full iris there. It's very important to do that. A little white there. The reason we leave that white there is because it shows like the eye is wet. We do a whole portrait, that's probably going to be the only white spot you're going to leave on the whole portrait. There we have a white, we have a total black here, medium tone, and a nice light tone. I'm going to let that dry some, and I'm going to start building up some of the skin tones while that's drying. When you're doing your eyelid, um, be darker on these sides but in the middle here it's going to be lighter so pull some out here make it a little lighter and then we'll get darker on these ends too One of the most important things when you're doing an eye is not to leave the white of the eyes white. They are not truly really white, it'll look like a cartoon. So do not do that. We definitely want to focus on there and get color in there. So I use a mixture of my transparent colors to make a gray. Okay, so now I'm going to put the eye lashes in now because I think a crucial part of it and you have to be careful again not to make too many eyelashes everywhere. Group them together more. Bottom section two, you want to keep it very simple. The eyelashes on the bottom and try to keep it not so detailed. Okay, now we're seeing here, I can get darker here too. That shadow, so now I want to come back in.
I'm gonna wipe out a section and do some skin tones now. And the back part of the eye that the area is gonna be darker. And you can do this before you put the eyelashes in too. Just didn't want to wait and let it dry. So I'm coming around it, but I would normally do it before you put the eyelashes in. As it gets toward the center here, it's going to get lighter. As it works its way back down, it's going to get darker in here too. Okay, one more area here. Everybody has is right in this area. It's always a purple, purple area that we go with. As you can see, I didn't use a lot of other colors. I mean, it's transparent colors, two staining colors pretty much. I have some other colors, but really I'm not using them. Um, I, I like having a simple palette, not a lot of colors. Up here, we're always gonna have a nice little line here going on the eyelid. And darker back here. And lighter here and darker here. Okay, now we're going to look at this all and see where we're at. Always judge where we're at, what we need to do, if you need to put more colors in. And um, I think I might put some more color in here, a little bit more color in there. Yeah, that's about it. I can keep going on this side forever. I just love painting the eyes. But um, I can get picky with them too. And again, I take my time and really want to do them right because it is who the people are. It's the most important part you're going to be looking at. I would definitely take your time on it. Okay, thank you.